In the middle of YouTube chaos, where YouTube is screwing over the creators again, I bring you another Krita tutorial. Hello and welcome back to another video. In my last tutorial, I had said that I would explain blending modes, so today I will be doing just that. The blend modes that I will be discussing are Multiply, Overlay and Color Dodge as these are the ones that I use the most. I will also be discussing a blend mode called Color. I don't use this one as I don't work in grayscale but I know many other artists do and this will be useful for them. Krita has two ways that you can apply blend modes. One is the layer blend mode in which you make a new layer over the layer you want to apply the blend mode on. This way if you don't like the result, you can either change it or delete it. The next way is to apply the blend mode to the brush you are using. But in this way you have to directly work on the layer that you are painting on. The layer blend mode can be accessed from the layer panel and the brush blend mode can be found here. I will be showing you both ways of using the blend modes side by side so we can compare them as we go. I use multiply when I want to add really dark shadows but I don't want to use black color for that. Whatever color you use will appear many shades darker resulting in much more richer color and will add more depth to the painting. Now comparing the both sides you can see that layer blend mode is applied seamlessly as the effect is being applied on the layer beneath. But the brush blend mode is a bit messy. This is because where the color applied overlaps with another color, another shade pops up. Overlay is the blend mode used for contrast. What this blend mode do is that it saturates the color you are using while mixing it with the color beneath. So if you are using blue color over the color red, it will mix both colors giving you a saturated purple color. So you have to be careful about what color you are applying. Color Dodge has become the most popular blend mode thanks to Ross Draws and everyone has more or less of an idea what it does. It takes the color applied and brightens it. It is mostly used for vibrant highlights. In all three blend modes discussed, the layer blend mode was applied seamlessly, but the brush blend mode did not go as cleanly in comparison. Color is the blend mode which can be used if you work in grayscale. It replaces the color beneath completely without adding or taking away any of the color. If you are using red on blue color, then the blue color will be completely replaced by red color. But if you apply a darker shade of red, it will appear desaturated and if we apply a lighter color, it will appear saturated and bright. When working with this blend mode, I found out that when applied through brush, this blend mode worked better than the layer blend mode. Hopefully now you would know how each blend mode works 
I will quickly show you how these blend modes will work together. Starting with a grey sphere, I quickly added the shadows and highlights. Then when I was happy with the shading, I applied the color blend mode on the same layer. As you can see the shading and the highlights that I had added are still visible beneath the yellow color, but they have become somewhat lighter. Making a new layer, I added shadows using multiply blend mode. At this point, the sphere was becoming dark and off balanced. So using overlay in a new layer, I added some lighter color to balance the drawing. Highlights were added using color dodge. After cleaning the drawing up a bit, it is now complete. I hope this tutorial was helpful. I tried to make it as simple as I could so it will be easy to understand. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, consider subscribing for future content and I will see you in the next video. Bye!